So this building is really cool and it's really old. It is, yes, just over 100 years old, built originally in 1918 as a furniture factory and showroom for Banks Furniture. Located in the heart of Gordon Square Arts District, 5400 Detroit Avenue is now home to Gordon Green, opened as an event space in 2020. Weddings is what you guys mostly do. Yes, we do a lot of weddings, yeah, yeah. Anywhere from like 75 to 80 a year. Before wedding season picks back up. Well, we're roller skating, <laughs> Katie. <laughs> they're transforming the dance floor into a roller rink. You said this is something that you guys have been wanting to do we for have dreamed, three years. Yeah, we have been dreaming this event up for a long time. Yeah, the floor is just kind of scream for it. This weekend, a DJ will be spinning the hits while skaters spin around the hardwood under the disco ball. So how many people are you expecting? We are expecting about 150 people each night. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Why do you think roller skating resonates with so many people? You know, I'm not sure. I don't know if it's just the nostalgia going back to like our childhood or just the fun sort of free whimsical, you know, feelings that come with yeah. it. Gordon Green partnered with Rink in the Box to make their roller dreams come true. There's a lot of new skaters that come along and I have to warn them. I said, if you keep this up, you better be careful because once it gets in your blood, that's it. Lifelong skater Warren Hatchett says the social sport is experiencing a comeback with a new generation. A lot of families, a lot of little kids and teenagers are now back skating. Maybe it's something the West Side needs. You know, maybe we need a roller skating rink. While this free event is full, she tells me, stay tuned. What we're learning is that people really want this kind of thing. Events that offer something fun and different to do in their neighborhood. And Gordon Green hopes to continue to marry the two. We just really believe in being a part of, you know, breathing life back into this, this area. And that was part of why we chose this, this spot when we found it. And it's, you know, part of our mission going forward.